Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after crossing the Skunk River on our way to the Verdant Chambers. In the distance, we discovered this ruined watchtower, which may be the ruins that Harem has been looking for, because he did request that we go look for a dwarven ruin. In any case, let's continue our way to the Verdant Chambers. Please and thank you. Um, we may drop... Oh, whoa! Overgrown pool and bandit camp and a random encounter. All right, you've messed with the wrong group. Buckaroo, unless you're a giant your mammoth, flesh. which you do not appear to be. Great. So we got three bandits and a bandit illusionist. Hiroshi, why don't you go up to the illusionist, and Valerie can take care of those guys, and I guess we'll see where things go. Mm, though a little less might not be a bad idea. Lindsay, why don't you focus on that guy, and uh, Kanera, you do the same, so that we can stop him from casting stuff, and I think otherwise we may be good. I might actually get um, Amiri to circumvent the front line and just go for the uh, illusionist. There we go. Much better. He's dead. That was so unnecessary. All that planning. So unnecessary. <laughs> oh no. Fabrosi. You're getting shanked. Oh no. No longer. Can you not kill Amiri, please? She's very fragile. I don't think Valerie's been hit a single time in this fight. Fantastic. Whoa. Canera is really um, consistent with the damage. I like it. All right, let's see. Longsword, heavy shield. Any masterwork stuff? Oh. Unbelievable. Really? Not a single masterwork thing. What the hell, guys? If you're going to ambush me, please be sure to at least have, like, decent gear. At the very least. It's so rude to have no proper gear when you're attacking me. Not that I encourage that you use better gear to attack me, but still. Alright, so we need to continue this way. And I'm assuming we will just... What? Oh. Down south, really? Wait. Oh. My life is a burden. I was hoping that we would explore this place with Heron, but um, since we're here and Fabrosi's exhausted, or fatigued rather, I guess we might as well check it out. Sure. Though, I don't know if I'm messing up any potential quest stuff if I don't bring a Heron right now. I'm hoping not, but let's explore. We may need to rest soon though considering that Fabrosi is fatigued. And he's kind of the, you know, one of the main dudes in our team here. What the hell? Is that a giant statue? Of a Warhammer? Nice. Very nice. But I'm assuming it's Dwarven, considering that the ruins are Dwarven. So, oh, what is this? Go explore. Torag's Pendant. Cool. Hmm. I think Torag might be the... Uh, dwarven god that Harem has forsa forsaken. I could be wrong. I don't actually remember. What is this? Grass has sprouted be between the cobbles of the ancient road. Step, step, right. Step. Do we know how ancient these roads are exactly? Because... I guess this is when the dwarves of the Seven Mountains or whatever dudes were kind of around. If that makes any sense. I have no idea about the history of this uh, universe, so... I'm most definitely talking out of my ass. We got some dank herbs, though, so that's nice. Um, This is a pretty big map, so I'm expecting there to be plenty of Royal Rumbles in this place. Hopefully none that we can't uh, handle ourselves, but knowing my luck, we may be in for it. Although... The random encounter that we encountered um, was fairly weak, so maybe we'll be all right. Dwarven Helm Shard. Cool. Weird triangular head for the uh, dwarves, I guess. Maybe uh, ancient dwarves were all, um, you know, pyramid head from the uh, hit um, video game series Silent Hill. Could very well be. Uh, I'm seeing some bones. Someone's gnawed bones gleam in the bushes. 
sure. So I'm assuming that means that we're about to come upon a Royal Rumble of some kind. Well, with most definitely a wild beasties, I would assume. Unless there's a cannibal lying around somewhere. It's Shia LaBeouf. That's it. Tell me- Oh, I knew it! I fucking knew it! I saw this, it stuck out like a sore thumb. Amulet. Of natural armor plus one. Does someone not have that yet? Uh, Tristian doesn't have one yet, so there you go. And we are geared. Sweet. Can we go farther south? I guess not. Wait, so there's no Royal Rumble? What the fuck? Nod bones? What the fuck? I was expecting an ambush at least. But maybe it's better that we don't encounter anything that's capable of, uh, ripping uh, Fabrosi's genitals off his face. I don't know why he has his genitals on his face, but... Don't ask. I mean... It's a saga. Um... Hmm... I gotta say, though... I often find the silence and lack of enemies to be a lot more disturbing than um, there being like a throng of like uh, big beasts and shit. Oh shit, we got bandits. Oh god. I accidentally walked into that. Uh, can we have Amiri go after the bandit alchemist? Bring it. And you guys can try to maybe attack the one in the back? Sure. Uh oh. You see that? Okay, uh, let's have you rage out and annihilate the alchemist. And that one's already dead. Fantastic. Can we make sure that uh, they don't throw the potion, please? Because that, that's very annoying. Well, here comes the bomb. Wow. What a giant middle finger to us. How dare you, in your last death throws, throw a stupid ass uh, bomb at us? Dick. Longsword, heavy shield, potion of mage armor. Fantastic. Regular light crossbow. And all the usual accoutrement. Gotcha. What's this? Tell me that this is not trapped. Two bladed sword, pearl, grinding stone, and some gold. And is this locked? This better not be locked. I'm gonna quick save just in case. Alright. Is it locked? My Lindsay? Life is a Fuck yes, girl. abso fucking lootly fantastic All right, let's go collect this uh, penis um, rising from the ground and We appear to have reached the edge of the map Cool uh, Tristian we should probably heal up uh, Our friend Hmm Maybe we should just go for a Heal like a group heal Ooh, that was not great, but I'll accept it regardless. Because that's kind of the only thing I can do right now. Sure. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Step, step, ferocious step. Wolf. Uh, Valerie, can you go taunt the Ferocious Wolf? Alright. Um, I guess there's only a few. Fair enough. Do not falter. Right, folks. Once they've engaged Valerie, go for it. That's right. Here comes a kill crew. You know what? I take it back. Valerie's also part of the kill crew. Because she does a decent amount of damage when she hits. Which isn't all that rare, I would say. Fantastic. Can you guys skin this properly, please? 50% success rate. Come on, guys. What the hell, Amiri? I thought you'd be skinning beasties with your teeth left, right, and center. But apparently not. What do I Whoa. Spy? What the fuck? Fabrosi's rolling all these, um, perception checks. Or at least that one. I don't know which one, uh, what, who discovered the previous, um, hidden loot. But, uh, we seem to be doing decently without Jathol. Knock on wood. Of course, now that I've said that, um, we will most definitely die sometime soon. By a trap, most likely. Oh, mobility. Huge tree trunk can be used to climb up or down. Right. Um, do we know what's down there, though? Because I don't know if I'm... Wow. Bandit just literally popped out of the bushes and is dead. Fantastic. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Got an ambush on the other side. 
Take that one right in the teeth. And Amiri's getting her too, which is obviously a big no-no. Can you not try to shank Valerie, please? I'm sorry, who was doing the attacks of opportunity on Amiri? Are you trying to tell me that this fucking little bastard somehow got some attacks of opportunity on Amiri? What in the world? How is that even possible? We were moving at the same pace. That's not fair. That's some baby back bullshit right there. And why are they all just concentrating on Amiri? I realize that she is the source of the majority of their problems, but still. Rat bastards. Damn it. What's that? No, Amiri's hurt and shit. Unbelievable. And even she, she spotted a trap somehow. Lindsay, go deal with it. Okay, Fabrosi, I realize that your life is a burden. Wow. You know what? I'm gonna accept it. Because that was... Great. So, not only did we fail with that stupid-ass trap, but, um, it had one gold in it. Fantastic. Fucking trolls. <laughs> Damn these bandits, man. Alright, so, I guess, now that we're all more or less very hurt, yeah, let's uh, heal us up a little bit. Hmm, sure. I'm not anticipating a lot of the undead around us anytime soon, so I guess we can just use up some of this stuff. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. At the very least, uh, Valerie's fully healed up, so I guess we got that going for us. Once dirty walls became decrepit and crumbled. Mobility. Ancient stairs. Great. Mm, keep an eye out for traps, guys. Because just because the, these... Dwarven ruins are Dwarven and uh, ancient does not mean that their traps are still not active. Are not still active, rather. Sorry, I don't know if I'm saying all these things correctly. Okay, um... I'm assuming by the presence of this gigantic statue type thing that we may be able to go up on this hill here. Or... I guess we can take the mobility check thing. You see that? Oh, Time. whoa. Here comes distance. Another Torag's Pendant. Fantastic. And what's over this way? Hopefully nothing too dangerous. Knock on wood. Mm, not sure if we're going in a safe path. I'm just going to quick save just in case. Alright, so far so good. Knock on wood. Any ambushes? Okay, we got wolves. Trollhound? What the fuck is a Trollhound? Magical beast. Regeneration. Whoa. Oh, is that why it's called a troll hound? Interesting. How about you guys just stay put and we'll let them duke it out. Oh, wait. Do I not get experience points if they die to each other? Oh, God. They are angry. Oh, the troll hound's down. I see. Okay, then, Canera, why don't you head back and uh, go fire upon the troll hound. And maybe that'll be enough to kill it. Fantastic! Good job there. Alright, so the troll hound not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to uh, tear everyone's buttholes asunder, but, um, nope. We seem to be G-E-W-D-U'd. Ah, oh, 100%. Good job, Amiri. Getting ever so slightly better. Can I skin this too? We failed that nature check. As soon as I praise you, Amiri, you stab me in my back to my face. What the fuck? And also, trees, get the fuck out of here. Is this another invisible stump? It is. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Because it's the same uh, model as the uh, last um, fallen log thing that we uh, looted. Basically. Though, I don't know if they reuse that model for uh, ones that are just decor or what. Hold on. Oh, God. Trolls. I guess that's to be expected. I mean, we just fought a troll hound, so... Level 6 humanoid. Okay. Um... I think the previous troll that we fought was level 3. I could be wrong. But just in case, let's uh, buff us up. And we'll go ahead and cast 8 on uh, Valerie. We'll be doing the tanking, of course. And protection from evil communal. 
Go for it. Don't hesitate. I think we might be overkilling a little bit, but that's fine. Better overkill than not. Oh god. Okay, uh, this might not be overkill considering that we have troll hounds coming at us now too. All right. Thankfully, the troll not so tough. Knock on wood. All right, Canera, you deal with that nonsense and. Oh no, it's already dead. What? How did it already die? Was it somehow already hit by fire? Oh, I know. It's because uh, Fabrosi was dropping his uh, sick mixtapes. Because, you know, they're straight fire, right? My life is a burden. Wow. Why don't you complain more about your life while you're um, skinning a troll hound and, um, you know, devouring troll giblets? Why not, Fabrosi? Alright, so I'm expecting there to be some awesome treasure there. But I gotta say. Something I've noticed so far, we're handling this a lot better than our um, time in the eastern region. There's got to be some hidden treasure here, for sure. We found it. What? What'd you say, Fabrosi? Is this locked? You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry. I have to reload. Come on. After all that, guys, Lindsay, don't do me like this. Don't fail, please. Anything else? Thank you, my goodness. Dwarven, Dwarven Helm, Scroll of Hold, and Fireball. Nice. Alright, so is there anything up here? I guess not, judging by the lack of pathfinding options. Um, But yeah, as I was saying, I feel like we're able to handle the uh, mobs in this area a lot better than the, um, the eastern part of our uh, barony. Because there we encountered mammoths and shit, whereas here we're encountering stuff that we can actually handle. The remains of a of cobbled road are barely visible. And there appears to be more stuff here. And I've noticed you. Giant dwarven statue that appears to be facing the wrong way? Why is it facing the wrong way? Worn parchment. On the ancient parchment there are words written by a feeble hand, discolored with age and barely visible. Every morning I wake up as a 20-year-old boy. It's the best morning of my life. For today is the first time I take over the post at the watchtower over the Great Shield Road. Every morning I open my eyes and see the tower in ruins. Horrified, I grow up my grey beard with my narrow fingers and slowly realize that there's no Shield Road anymore. And it's been this way for more years than I can count. I must be older now than the decrepit Gauguin was when he died and left me alone. Unforgiving time has eroded both the stones of the tower in my flesh and my mind. The Holy Tower of Torag is the only thing time itself dares not touch. I do remember that it's uh, my duty to guard something hidden inside that statue, but I don't remember what exactly I'm guarding. The key I wear on my, hanging on my neck, the Langebuch's golden cog, is as heavy as an anvil. Where is the uh, Wardash's war war uh, white cog? I don't remember. What happened to uh, Gig's red cog when its keeper, Gogan, died. I don't know. Every morning I go around the neighborhood and looking for people I haven't seen for years. And... Um... Oh. Neither traders nor bandits. Sometimes my mind tricks me and I recall speaking to a hunter or scout just yesterday, but these memories are too vague to, th to be true. I guess my feeble mind just entertains itself with illusions. I've been hoping... Hoping for too long to uh, see a day when dwarves return and restore the road. Now I'm seriously, now I seriously doubt that there is any one of my kin left in this world, or anyone alive at all. Maybe some unimaginable plague has raised away every single soul in the whole of Galarian except for me. If someday someone returns to these parts and they uh, and manages to read this, remember our names. The tower was built by dwarves of Wardash, Skeg, and Langibu clans in 4241. It was abandoned in 4499. Uh, we, the last shields, were left behind to keep our eternal watch for the glory of uh, Torag and the Dwarven people. Our names were Gaugen Skagen Wark Langebuk. It was our free choice, and we have no regrets. Remember us. Well, I mean, if everyone died of a virulent plague, as you uh, said, then uh, there's no one to remember you, so... How's that for logic? Should I not have done that? Unlike the time-woven or time-worn watchtower, the statue of Torag is in perfect condition. The dwarven god's face has a stern look 
almost accusatory when combined with the surrounding devastation. All right, so it seems that... So it, it's definitely facing the other way, which I don't know if these is the, the intention, but I'm just going to quick save just in case we fail this. We failed it. Unbelievable. Uh, your intuition tells you that the statue may be hiding something of value. After several hours of searching, you discover a hidden panel with a niche above it. In the niche, a set of jagged grooves adorned with arcane symbols seems to be connected to something deeper inside the statue. It seems that access to Torax treasures will require the missing cogs. Can we try to open the panel? The stone panel and mechanism keeping it shut are both sturdy and effective. Neither lockpicking skills nor brute force enhanced with cursing, cursing are capable of opening it. It looks like you won't get this hidden treasure without a proper key. Oh, how long has passed? Four hours? I'm just gonna load because I don't want everyone to be fatigued. I guess um, maybe we'll leave the interaction with that uh, statue until we've explored the rest of this place. Yeah, because if we're going to be... Oh, wait, hold on. There appears to be maybe something we did not um, explore fully up here. Because if we're... Oh, God. Giant spiders. What level? Level 7. I am your wait, were they man. level 7 before? Oh, God. Please tell me that we don't have spider swarms at the very least. All right, 50 million giant spiders I can definitely deal with. Spider swarms, though? Most definitely not. I don't know if this is going to work as a choke point. It is. It is definitely working as a choke point. This is fantastic. Amiri, can you get involved? You can reach. Perfect. All right, Amiri, get back. Let them approach uh, Fabrosi or uh, Valerie first. Uh, Fabrosi, can you get back a little bit, though? Yeah, just ever so slightly so that uh, Valerie can get involved properly there. Fantastic. Oh, Amiri. I thought you were going to do the uh, kill blow. Actually, Canera. Um, hmm, maybe if we can get into this position, we can do a little fan of flames or something. Yeah, let's try this out. Let's see if this works. Uh, so that'll cover these two, I think, possibly. All right, Namiri, get back again. Barbosi, get back again. Whoa, nice. So that does work. Fantastic. Uh, sure. Let's have you spam this. I don't know if there's like a resource that we need to uh, be aware of, but it does seem like. How does this burn thing work? I'm still very confused about this. I don't know. I mean, I tried my best to uh, read up on how uh, kineticists work, but I still have no idea whatsoever. Mm, maybe we're getting a little too far Level back there. Right. I guess the rest we can just deal with. Yeah, just go for it, guys. Of course, as soon as I say that, Valerie gets hit. With how much damage? Whoa. Oh, the A gave her, um... Temporary hit points. Forgot about that. Nice. <gasps> oh, cooking ingredient. I guess they're kind of like crab legs, because let's face it, crabs are the uh, spiders of the sea, right? Basically. I mean, they're uh, crustaceans and kind of similarly shaped. So, yeah. I mean, there are definitely uh, um, sea, uh, sea spiders and whatnot, but still. Can we go in through here? Whoa! Uh, this has got to be trapped, right? Hmm, let me just quick save just in What's case. How do we get this? Once long ago, a sturdy watchtower rose above the forest, ready to single an, signal an enemy's approach day or night. Now the ancient moss-covered stones were crumbling and birds rather than warriors inhabited the place. The ground floor had been long... had long been looted, but there still seemed to be some furniture left on what remained of the upper floor. A rotted table, an uneven chair, and a small but seemingly robust chest. Much like Canaris chests. Sadly, the stairs leading up had uh, long had collapsed long ago. Athletics. Okay, choose a character. We tried climbing up. We decided to take our time and make a sturdy ladder. 
ladder. Fortunately, there are plenty of materials in the forest. Let's use our athletics. Um, why doesn't it just default to the character that can do it immediately? Hey, there we go. Succeeded at athletics check. Uh, Miri deftly climbed the stones, even as they crumbled beneath her feet. On the next floor, she found what must be what must have been a living room centuries ago. There uh, were even the remnants of a decomposed floor mat. The chest was heavy. Uh, Mom's spaghetti, but it didn't take Amiri much effort to push it to the ledge and drop it down. Yet the chest uh, fell to the stone floor with a loud thud, a huge cloud of dust rising around it. The wood had darkened after years of exposure to the sun and the rain. Doesn't it usually get sun bleached? Or am I mistaken? I mean, I guess wood might interact a little differently. The metal siding had grown a layer of rust, and the decorative carvings on the lid was were barely discernible. Even so, the chest itself was as robust and secure as the day it was made by some, some unknown dwarven master. And of course, it was still locked. Mm. Okay, so I think we're definitely going to do a perception check first. And I should have done a competence uh, check too. Or a competence, uh, song of competence thing, but oh well. We failed the perception check. Fuck. Um... Hmm. Alright, so after searching the uh, ruins, we discovered some gnawed bones, a broken arrow, and a fragment of a leather belt. Nothing of any use. I guess we'll use trickery then? Sure. Lindsay, go for it. We failed at that too. Wow, Lindsay, you are just amazing at failing. The old lock couldn't endure the torture. Some internal crease broke with a loud click, securing the lid, perma lid permanently. Can we use strength? Um, I guess we'll use Amiri's strength? Oh my god, we failed at that too? What did the dwarves make that chest out of? Stone, solid steel, dragon bone. Amiri hit the lid over and over, even tried prying it open and knocking up the hinges. It took a long time before the chest finally gave in. Inside we found the simple possessions of a dwarven warrior who must have once been stationed in this tower. Battle gear consisting of chainmail, a helmet, shield, and an axe, a pair of torn uh, traveling boots, and a metal tankard the size of a small bucket, a pipe and a full pouch of tobacco which had petrified over the years, and lastly, a peculiar little thing, a complex red metal cog. Alright, well we definitely needed that red metal cog. Also sucks that we, um, whoa, holy shit. Oh, this. Fantastic. Um, but sucks that like four hours passed in that. You know what? I'm just gonna quick load um, because I completely forgot to do the whole um, uh, song of competence thing with uh, Lindsay. So I'm just gonna save scum until we uh, pass all those checks. Hope you guys don't mind. If it takes too long, I'll just um, you know cut this part out and tell me that we did not fail this one. Fantastic perception. Uh, if we can get a good roll. We did not. Trickery? Hey, there we go. Uh, the mechanism had rusted. The key had been long lost, but that matters little to a skillful lockpick. After tinkering inside the keyhole for a while, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Lindsay opened the lid triumphantly. And it, inside is the same stuff, of course. Great. So we'll take it all. Fantastic. And we have leveled up. Well, I'm not going to do the level up just yet, um, because I want to do that off camera. Another Torax Pendant. Are these things important in some way? Hmm. Also, did the perception check fail thing take time by any chance? Athletics, and then we fail the perception check. Right. Okay, so no time passed after the perception check failed. So let me look at this uh, breastplate thing. So... Valerie's half plate is still better. Um, and this is considered medium armor as opposed to heavy armor. Gotcha. No, we should definitely keep that on her. Um, then maybe a breastplate on Amiri? No, that reduces her speed. Canera can't wear it. Lindsay can't wear it, etc, etc. Okay, so that doesn't leave us with a lot of options. 
Troll Reaper. Whoa, acid damage. Interesting. Hmm, that could be good for Miri. So we'll put that on her, and we'll also give her the Great Club plus two. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, um, is that it for this location? I guess so. And we can use mobility to uh, move downstairs. Right, What's for Rosie's mobility adventure. Mobility again? Okay, so that's going to be like an automatic um, success almost. <gasps> My life is a burden. Great, I thought we failed that. And we got some experience points for that too. Um, okay, so how about we end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and explore the rest of the ruined watchtower, which I guess is this thing. And then see if we can't access Torag's statue. Because I'm assuming that there's some uh, goodies in there. In between episodes, I'll do my best to um, decide on how to uh, level up our so characters. Uh, but so that might take a little bit of thinking. But that's my problem, not yours. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!